Hi, welcome to Booster Team Tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you on how to set up your product page. In product page section, you can configure parameters that have the direct impact on your visitor experience on your product page or Shopify store. These important types of parameter include the generic product or purchase information, variant option, swatch option, product review, visitor counters, delivery time, desktop settings, mobile settings, and also badges. So first, let's jump to a generic product and purchase information. Now we here we have a buy now action so there are three types of buy now action which is added to cart message direct to checkout or direct to cart so if you choose direct to checkout your customer will be directly navigated to the checkout page however if you choose direct to cart your customer will be navigated to the cart page instead now if you have any discount in your product enabling the save percentage will display the amount of money in percentage saved by your customer if they purchase the product we really suggest you to enable make a selection option which going to require your customer to select any variant that you have before they purchase the product next is show the quantity the setting will display the number of particular product remaining for sale we also have vendor setting image zoom shaking add to cart button also read more button progress bar stock left message sell and message free plus shipping message show text and also social media buttons next we have a timer this is a really good conversion booster for your store Store, this timer will indicate when is the sale for the particular product will stop next we have a dynamic checkout button this will let your customer check out directly using a familiar payment method that you need to set up after that we also have a variant option variant option helps in configuring how variants of a product have to be displayed there are two options here which is drop down menu and color swatch if drop down menu checkbox is selected variant of a product can be seen in a drop down field like this whereas if there is color swatch for your product the variant will shown in boxes like this but with color so if you choose the color swatches we have two different shape for your boxes which is square or round next if your product already has a review you can check the box over here to enable the rating and review and make sure you have a review app installed from your Shopify app store next we also have visitor counter this is a really good conversion booster for your store this also create a trust filling between your customer and your store so you can just enable the visitor counter over here and you can select the range of random numbers that the visitor counter should display another professional feature that we have is the delivery time if you know for sure the specific delivery time for a certain product you can just enable delivery and also choose how long the delivery is gonna be from the drop down over here and to display the product description either it is under the price or under the timer you can make a selection from product description drop down menu in here and this option is only for the desktop version of your Shopify store another really awesome conversion booster features that we have in here is the sticky button for your mobile store by enabling the sticky button it will display the buy now button down here that will stay on the screen even after your customer is scrolling or swiping up and down we have two choices of sticky button one is timer the second one is a progress bar like what we have down here last but not least is the badges this badges has a purpose to create the trust between the customer and your store for a guaranteed safe checkout this is just the basic badges that we have but you can also upload your own image showing all the payment icons for all the payment system that you have in your store next we're going to jump to the product page theme setting so not only you can show the percentage save badge up there but you can also change to dollar instead next if you're looking to decide the timer for a particular product you can enable the checkbox over here for timer disable using product tag and you can use no timer for the products that you wish not to display timer for so next to a timer for your product page we have three different timer which is random evergreen and custom random is a timer that randomly show up a different time on every product on cookie based and evergreen is timer that will reset every day at the time you choose meanwhile custom is a timer that you can choose the amount of time left and show up the same timer on every product based on cookie if you choose timer on custom you need to enter a numerical seconds value in this field over here please note 
that we also have a maximum second limit. Now, if you see over here, we have only 15 product left. That doesn't mean that we really only have 15 product left, but you can set up based on your preference on the setting over here and there the stock left. We have three different choices, which is random, real-time inventory, and inventory reducer. Random stock left will randomly display a different amount left for every product based on cookie. Meanwhile, real-time inventory will display the real amount left in stock from your Shopify product inventory. Inventory reducer will start reducing the amount left in stock from your Shopify products inventory based on cookie. Another one that's really important is we have Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest button that you can enable over here. So if your customer really like the product, they can easily share it with their social media. So that concludes our product page setting tutorial. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to send us email to support at boosterteam.com.